I'm Jessica Mitten for Ivy Times TV and joining me today is Joe Greco from Meridian to give us a preview on what to expect with tomorrow's second quarter GDP number for the U.S. So Joe, there is a lot of economists thinking that we are going to see that great of a number, maybe 1%. What do you expect we will see? Um, well, I'll leave it up to the true economist to pick the actual number, but I don't think it'll be much of a surprise. So we'll probably be hovering right around estimates. We may actually see a slight uptick due to just a little bit of, uh, you know, jiggling of the numbers in the second quarter here. But that opens the door for what happens, of course, in the second half of the year, which is not so optimistic. Now, there is something new that's about to start happening. The government might start changing the way that they calculate GDP, whereas, for example, if you have a big show like Seinfeld, it would be classified as an investment, not exactly spending. So will this make that much of a difference and boost economic growth for the U.S.? Well, it's going to, of course, change the number, and, and we're not going to be looking at a 1% figure anymore, and perhaps this will, they have all the back data, so they'll be able to, you know, back test whether or not this is going to bring us in line with what Fed expectations are, um, you know, and what the Fed targets are. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't change what's really going on out there. It just says we're classifying things differently. So on the street, is there going to be, you know, are you going to feel the impact of that, of that change in GDP? Not necessarily. Is it going to help policy moving forward? Of course. And that's going to be the interesting case. We'll probably get a little more color on that, not necessarily from the Fed tomorrow or the, when the minutes are released, but rather maybe in September or later on this year. And finally, in the midst of getting this number tomorrow, the Fed is having their two-day meeting today and tomorrow as well. Are the markets pricing in the fact that the Fed could begin to taper in September, given the, whatever happens with this GDP number, if it's lower or better than expected? Right, and the odds makers for uh, Wall Street do have us at somewhere between 60 and $65 billion purchase uh, you know, um, going forward after September. So between now and then, of course, we've got to figure out where, where to make up that extra you know, 15 uh, to $20 billion, um, in asset purchasing. If the Fed's not going to do it, who's going to pick up the slack there and keep the momentum? But tomorrow, we're not going to necessarily see any language pointing towards that. It's a normal communication, no Bernanke, no follow-up, no Q&A. So all we're going to see is really what they're discussing and how they're you know, processing things right now. That'll give us a little bit of a hint, though, what we can expect in a month and a half.